Good day, welcome to Modernless Design, <coughs> the continuation of uh, budget and made mini figure that we are backing on. So in the project, we are able to have done so much like ground floor plan, the first floor plan, the second floor plan and every other detail that we have assigned to it and we left some conclusion for you guys to do on your own. But in this uh, particular episode, I want to be creating the camera view and the section view. But before then, I want to appeal to you. We go to Martinez channel on our, on our platform. This is our platform, Martinez channel, with more than 600 videos that we have done. We have created a lot of popular videos that you can learn from. So when you want to watch, you can watch from the front page by clicking out, or you just go to from old. So you'll be able to see from the beginning of what we have started in our project particularly and functionally work on it effectively. So these are the things that we have done. You can check through popularity as well and work towards that and gain your whole sufficient actions towards that. Now, if you are the kind of a person that want to watch in the follow, you can click on playlist. Playlists will allow you. We have a lot of numerous playlists like 2024 Revit Tutorial, the latest one we are, we are working on now that we are going to move to our next project immediately after this. So those are the tutorials we have done in the past and according to playlists, you can click and watch in the volume and things like that. So kindly click on join if you want to join and pay some certain amount of money for YouTube to be able to get you into what you just need to click on join. After you click on join, you're going to see this access to channel and every other thing. So you pay according to the way you want to pay. So a big fan class is what you are need. So what you have a big fan class to this. And if you need an access to design, like the template I'm talking about that anybody wants to get, just click on this access to design. And I will get in touch with you and give you the full template of what you need. So that is the way you learn every from us. So with this number of video that we have done, I think we have really been able to touch a lot of uh, aspects of Revit from beginning to the end. So we, we have built a lot of different kind of projects that you can learn from, starting from different area, different different type of residential design. So you can see. So now let us go back to what we want to do. So if you are here that you have never for once follow our channel success please subscribe so what we do here now is that we click on a, uh, the video aspect which is what camera so i want to set a pure camera and where i'm going to start my project i want to render a little bit so that i will show you what me by it so you click on this camera so you pick from there how you can set a beautiful camera for your beauty so now you can imagine so when you pick up something like this at level three that is where i pick it but i don't want it to be at level three so what will i need to do i need to change this perspective completely so where do i need to go i'm going to go to this place it does not matter whether i where i pick it from or not so i can change it from here this is seven thousand just change it to five hundred that is your what high elevation so you can just imagine see see where it move so one thing the disadvantage when you leave it like this is that it's going to be distorted the line are not going to be inaccurate so what you do is that you change it and let everything be equal so put this one in 500 so when, when you put this one in 500 then you click on this say apply so the lines everything come back to parallel and everything is at level at each with one another so that is how you set this particular thing before you now go to rendering aspect and every other thing but before then you go to rendering aspect i will invite you that you can at least affect a little bit of arrogance so that is why i say you should really create a fencing around the beauty so how do you do that go to foundation just pick any kind of the you can pick this you can pick any kind of the wall that you want so just click around that and set it you can set it when you place your camera faces so that is how you do so go to level camera two this is what you have created is such but once you do it to do is to increase the height so when you increase the height to like three so you get this in place so you can just use your realistic view to check whether what you have done is accurate or not so now this is it so some elements are missing if you are part of the tutorial that we have started from earlier on you will see that okay we have done some great thing in the beginning in from the beginning 
But this is one of just the five that I saved. I just pick it up and let me just squeeze to conclude this aspect because I'm not going to continue with this again after this last after this episode. So after I've done this one, now you can save it and then you start uh, adjusting your project one after the other. So if you are rendering in Revit, I want to teach people how to render. Rendering in Revit uh, template is one of the best. Instead of going to a external or something, so it saves you time and it saves you energy. So all you just need to do is to click on printer, make sure that your resolution are high, so that every details of this will come out. So the next thing is that you set your lighting. You can set your lighting to whatsoever you want to set it to, so that you control the light. So if you want to use single day, you can use single day. Now this is posting in your spot. When we are in Nigeria here, you need to set our location right and every other thing. So you pick your location. If you have anything to search for, you can search for it. So if I'm here, I'm not so use daylight saving and every other thing. So you can use the site. If you have a site project or you get anything, you can work on that one as well. So but you can use single daylight and do as well. So anytime you are doing doing the uh, rendering like this, make sure you are at level one. So don't go to foundation so that your shadow casting will be accurate and be alright. So after you have done that one, you can use lighting setting and every other thing you want to do as well. Just choose a multiple and see every area that you want to you can imagine the changes that you have here so this does not mean that your 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 edge is going to be affected it does not matter so you can go here and return it back to where it's supposed to be so i've done with that one is your drafting you know, then you never render on drafting always render on any of these starting from the eye to best and so on. you customize your home by editing it and give it to you so you can edit it specifically by changing it put it in best and then you start adjusting everything from here or customize so you in everything you adjust it until you get the satisfactory of what you need to get so that is one thing about that so we're done with that aspect now adjust exposure adjust exposure is one of the new things that you need to do so when you look at it we've done this one this one is just at the default but you can decide to change them one after the other one on your home like cool on every saturation so if you want your your building to have different kind of effects you can do it for your own and adjust the shadow the way you want it to be if you want to be lighter let it be more darker the bright color and light everything like that let it be done so if you do this one every day then you are going to be seeing the effect so play with it do not be afraid of using anything that you are seeing on this aspect so if you want to continue just click on render but i'm not going to do anything here now so what i need to explain again is your is your what is it called? Section. So section part is that you pick up your section from here. So you draw the section all the way down. And then you adjust your so that you'll be able to capture some range of view. So you go to view and go and see what you render and what you have selected. This is the render. You can cast shadow on this if it's possible for you. So you click on shadow and if the shadow is too bogus, you can just adjust it. Let me just give you that clip. So this display. From display now you go to lighting and the lighting section you change this one just the lighting alone just increase this one to something like 175 you change this one to 10 so this one we have felt this one that one we have felt vertical so now they want to change the foundation and from foundation you change it towards to level one and apply you can imagine the shadow everything accurately back to normal so that is what you do you can still continue to adjust the way you want to adjust so what i want to do is that how you bring can bring trusses to this point that is what i want to do so you go back to this level so i think you have bridge two at this level so you click on the on the trusses and uh, structure then you pick on the trusses so if you pick trusses something is there that there are no trusses here to, to display so what you just need to do to bring trusses here you click here and say click on new when you click on new, what you need to suggest for yourself is to browse the project. What am I going to do? I'm going to search for engineering or structural analysis device. This is where you have to get the sources from because it's the template that already be aligned with the structural. So you click on open structural analysis and you click on this. So you know the level where you are, level one. So you come back there to come and do the work you need to do. So when you do, when you stay here, well, you click on click on trusses and you click on trusses again the trusses is coming out here because this is it it's already been structural activity so you can draw this and bring it into space so when you draw this one you look at it see okay for you you can check it on 3d 
and that is exactly what you need so if it's exactly what you need so it's okay for you just click on that and you say copy to what clipboard from copy to clipboard go back to the level where you are doing your design so at this level what you need to do is to draw this at level the highest level which is level three or anywhere you know that okay you can sufficiently do the work for yourself so you can do that at section two if you want to but let us draw that at the level where we are doing so what do we do we say modify and say paste from clipboard or align to select a few so i'm going to select it to uh, level three yes so it's aligned there everything has come to that position so it's there this is it. so you adjust it and bring it to this point so i do i've done that so click here and say go to view so this is what you have brought so what did you do you can now start to adjust them one after the other so the trusses are started from here the bottom point is that the starting point is starting zero which is okay so if you are okay with that good for you so if you are not okay you can click on this and change the position where you need it to be changed to so what you have done here is that you delete this go to roof roof uh, plane roof plan then from the roof plan you can click on the structure then you click on the trusses so at this end you align it to this one and let it tap to that so immediately the join together with that you go to section and go and sit at the section which you have created so click on the section here and go there so this is what you have done so you can now adjust this one and bring it down if it's suitable for you so i'm starting it from where from zero so the end here at zero as well so you can imagine so everything has stepped, has stepped down to the level I want them to be. So after I've done this one, just look, I can click on this one and say attach. So what you need to do is to attach it and say attach it to what? To the top or bottom. So select roof where you want to attach it to. So you see, everything click to that level. So as you have done with this one now, you can click here, go to the roof level. So you are going with roof level, you can now copy as many as you want so that to give you space and everything is going to be all right together. So you have done that, you can check it again from the section that you are drawing. So you can go to your 3D, just say 3D completely, then you click on your roof you see so you can hide it if you want i'm not going to teach you the detail of the did this there's so many tutorial on youtube that you can check that so check youtube for more tutorial about that so this is just a way of teaching you how to bring your trusses into this so that is just what i need to explain to you so you want to do your quick work and everything so as i've said try as much as possible go to our channel and watch the same time subscribe we have a lot of this that we've done so you can watch as much as you need on this channel and you are not going to be tired but you are going to get yourself improved on a daily basis about design how to plan your work and how to become a project manager whatever you want to do whether if you don't have a foundation of architecture from the beginning this channel will help you out by using Revit.